I'm not really sure what's happening because everything is like goes quick. In the beginning, the scenes are going like really fast and you can't really see what's happening or understand something. Well, it's not like that stressful. I mean, it's okay to watch, but I think it depends on the kind of person that watches it. Uh, yes, I do understand what he's saying, but sometimes because of the language barrier, I couldn't like I couldn't understand a word because of the accent. Actually, no, I don't think she's a criminal. I think that 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 man who's standing next to her is a criminal. But in the beginning of the video, no, but when the video starts developing, it becomes really uh, like not really obvious, but I can understand that like it's some some kind of a drug trip. I think the mise en scene was pretty real. I mean, I could feel that basement atmosphere or and this bad trip atmosphere too. Uh, these effects and performance was really good. I really loved her pink hair and the way she looked and like she dressed. I mean, it all created an atmosphere of something not bad happening, but something strange and naive. It's really clear and I thought it was really well made. There is a different color scheme uh, which gives the illusion that, um, you know, it's a flashback. Yeah, it was really creative, very original, very interesting, <laughs> fascinating. Yes, uh, I can understand it, however, there are some um, places where it is a bit difficult because there's a language barrier, um, however, this was still very clear and easy to understand. I think the mise-en-scene was right in the reality and in the flashback makeup was really realistic her lip face and her hair it really reflected her as a person and she was taking drugs and her clothes and costume was right and in the flashback she was really dressed like a child her hair was light and made in the ponytails and she was with the toy so it was like really perfect. as a short film is about drugs I assume that she wasn't taking drugs for a long time, so now she needs more and this is why she's feeling really bad and stressed and this effect is showing that she's like having a bad time. I think that the girl, she was she was taking her bro seriously, she was actually into the mood of taking drugs and she knew how to act about it and then the man, her father, he was really strict on her and telling her what she should have done. So I think that everything. No, I think she she looks like an abused child first of all, and then I saw I thought that because of the dizziness that she had, I thought that she's on drugs, so it was immediately linked to drugs. The the first scene when she was in the room, but then she's kind of makes with a slow motion, a fast motion at the same time, and she sh shake her head and just like a shadow going through. That's I guess that's like. Um, in general, it's quite. I understand the whole story, but there's a little bit at the end. It's when she wake, she stand up from a completely different places, and I assume that's like a school or something, because I don't know where that come from. So, I, but she look like she have a good end. And then I like the lighting of the whole video because it's like dark, which is which fits the genre of the movie. It's not very positive. It's talking about a girl is on drug and she's not very confident. Yeah, I do feel stressful because the because <laughs> um, the character in the movie she she feels like she's lost um, at the beginning of the show and I don't really know what she's doing and she was to trying to a certain extent um, no. but then I got a bit confused um, at the start I didn't understand what was happening but then it all got cleared out throughout, throughout the movie and especially at the end it was lovely thanks for that.